Okay, hi guys. Uh, today I'll be bringing you out to have a to scout around that area because I saw a light beam beaming up the sky. So today I'll be flying with the Hotel Evo Light Plus. So this one has a good camera, and also it's uh, quite windy. So I think this drone might be a better fit for this uh, task. So let's uh, bring it up. Let me uh, <coughs> get ready my drone. Making sure. Okay. All right. So. So now it's uh, self-checking. So once it's done, I will bring it up. And uh, we might not land here uh, when we are on our way back because uh, landing this on this area is a bit too difficult. But uh, flying out is no problem. So yeah, no GPS. I do notice something with this drone is that I do notice uh, a couple of times I'm not allowed to fly because of the uh, gim uh, the what, GPS signal is uh, weak. I have to do calibration uh, plenty of times before I could even fly. So this is one thing with this uh, the Evo Light Plus. See, it still doesn't allow me to fly. Whereas all my other drones, I don't quite have this issue so I think main issue with this I think the GPS module on here is uh, not working properly or it's uh, too sensitive to any magnetic field see this is still too low so let me uh, do a screen recording so I'll see if uh, we can get some signal maybe I'll just keep it up a little bit just so that it can get some signal so it's still not letting me take off maybe I'll change another location to take off so I've uh, switched another location uh, just to see if uh, changing a different location and restarting the aircraft will do any help because the uh, GPS is uh, weak so let's wait for it to uh, finish uh, self-checking okay so now I'm okay to fly after changing the location so I do experience this a couple of times sometimes I got pretty disappointed because I couldn't fly when I wanted it to fly so yeah pretty bad so let's uh, do some preparation I would like to because it's uh, quite foggy I'll just turn on this uh, anti-fog mode and uh, other things I think we'll just go with uh, just go with ordinary maybe this one will be good to shoot in uh, night mode not the super night mode the super night mode is a bit uh, only for still images let's uh, do the screen recording Let's go. So you can see there's a beam of light over there. So we are heading to that area to see what's going on. <coughs> so it's pretty windy. But I think this drone should be able to handle pretty well. So we'll see what's over there. So we are at about 113 feet. I could still see my craft from here because the light is pretty bright. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, So we are just about 50 meter away. Let's uh, check out this area because they are beaming a light up into the sky. You can see from this is the sky. I'm not sure if it's uh, bright enough on the screen, but it's pretty interesting. 
because it caught my attention so I might as well fly over and have a look so now we are about a kilometer away oh the signal transmission is like getting weak and uh, actually it has three channel let's uh, stop for a bit and uh, move this uh, I can feel the wind is blowing. You can see from the altimeter, it's uh, so maybe not flying right over here. We just go by the road just to see what's going on here. Well, that's a very bright light shining up the sky. There's actually plenty of beam, more than one. Maybe someone is having some party over here. So let's have a look. Are they dancing or doing some show? right I think they're having a show or something turns out when I got here they switch off the light so I think there's a lot of people there so let's not go over there so there's like a new year party I think yeah pretty cool this is like amazing so let's uh, let me land this thing and I'll call it a day it's uh, so foggy that I feel like there's a water droplet on my face Yeah, that's all for today's fight. Thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.